Welcome to this episode of Keeping Up With Tay Rose. I know you're probably wondering, wait, why are your clothes like this? Don't mind my PJs. Why are, why are your clothes like this? Well, today at where I work is hip hop day. So we had to dress um, like hip hop, but I'm just very happy because it is spring break. And I know a lot of you are interested into my lip combo. Girl, this is D Elf Glide On Lip Liner in Coco. And then this is the e.l.f. liquid lipstick and blushing rose. So unfortunately, they do not have this anymore. I mean, my makeup does look pretty set. I mean, you all know what I have been um, using as of lately. I'm gonna, I gotta tell y'all a story. So I was just coming from work and I saw that there was a free product alert from Influencer. And you know, us girls, we eat that up, right? To review, test it out, let y'all know how, how things are. Tell me why it was by Gucci, Gucci Beauty. I can't tell yet because I know there's some people that already got it, but it was sold, it was gone. I was so sad. I was like, dang. Because I know they were giving out Gucci eyeshadow palettes and they're giving out this other product that I don't think I can mention. But there always is a next time. We do plan on going out tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to do like a live. So y'all won't see a live for this one. Okay, and plus two, I do got to make a video for tiktok which i can finally tell y'all is from anastasia beverly hills and it is the bb cream makeup balm i got it in the shade 11 which i'm very happy because it looks really good but i need to try it for myself just to see and go from there so i will do a get ready with me segment on here but i won't be going on live if that makes sense even though i love the lives i love interacting with y'all but I have to complete this task for influencer. So I also did my skincare. I even shaved my face and it feels oh so amazing. I mean, I didn't get that on camera because I did that on my previous episode. But I am going to be doing another pick my alpha with me. So you remember the jeans I told you about last week, right? So these are the jeans I plan on wearing. It is these Levi's ribcage straight ankle. This is a size 27. Again, for referencing for any new viewers, I am five feet, two inches, I'm petite, and I wear a size seven in somebody pink for my waist. Like this, I had gotten from um, Burlington. Now I just need to find a top. It is supposed to be 45 degrees out tomorrow, and I'm gonna wear like a nice slender top. So I need to go in this drawer in here, and I'm going to find a top, Ugh, of course. Let's pull up this top. Let's see. Uh, yeah, no, you're not doing that. This one, you can see. Hopefully, this is the right one. Cause random things will just be like coming out. All right, this is it. So this is in. This is from Shein. This is in a size small. It's these tight skims like shirts i'm gonna pull this one out i just threw it on the bed just cuz but ciao anyways so my this is my original thought is to wear this top with these jeans i feel like that'll look really cute we not doing this no way jose i'm going to see if i find the green one because that is my other instinct as well so hang on all right so i end up finding the green top off camera and i honestly am thinking i want to go with this to kind of break apart the um color scheme because this is light and this is light and then this is a little on the darker side but i'm gonna still keep this out just in case i know i'm so confusing i'm leaning towards this though so now i brought this bag um recently i think i might stick with this bag it's like a slight thing i don't know <laughs> this is so small i think i'm gonna change it even though i don't mind this bag because this is a fendi dupe from first Twenty One last year so i love it a lot but anytime i'm going shopping i want to bring a bigger bag you know so i could fit my receipt i could fit my tripod i could fit my lighting which I gotta update y'all i did find a cute tripod but i need to order it and try it out first before i say 
it's officially here okay but let me get my bag and let me show you what i'm gonna be bringing with it i wanted to change my bag i wanted to change it to this this is um this new steve man bag i've never i don't want to say never but i haven't brought it yet and i want to bring it but then everything's gonna be like this the tripod's gonna be out and all that so i don't know i don't know i want to bring this bag but i did put on this strap because this strap is very cute it comes with two straps i like this strap more because you can fit something else you could fit like your airpods in here anything else in particular i feel like for the most part i might end up sticking with my juicy bag because it's white one and then two is large enough to fit everything in there and remember i told y'all i want to fit my tripod in there i want to fit all that in there i don't want to have to bring certain things by hand or have to like jam pack everything in a bag i want to bring this bag badly but with this size i cannot do that so this is definitely perfect for when i am going out to eat this bag is more so for everyday wear so i'm going to put everything out of this bag well i didn't even pack much i was getting started and i realized the size but i'm going to put this back in here This is currently my lotion. It is the, if you can, okay. It is the Ulta Beauty Winter Vanilla. I don't know why it's not zooming. Too much, uh, too much things are in focus. I'm gonna still keep this out cause I wanna bring this out one day. So I'm gonna keep this out so I can remember. So I just finished picking out my clothes. I just kept with the juicy bag cause it's a neutral color and it fits everything in there. But I can share with you with a product that I will be trying out for you guys because we can finally talk about it. Like when they, when Anastasia Beverly Hills put it on Instagram, I was like, yep, I got that. Like I felt so good. I felt like I was in with the girls. I will be talking to you briefly about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Balm Serum Boosted Skin Tint. I heard that they've been perfecting this for two years. So it's 2024. They've been perfecting this since, I'd say, 2022. And this mess is not cheap. It is not cheap at all. Because I went on Sephora today because I was looking at a couple of other items that I was going to purchase. Girl. Out of all my foundations that I have purchased or even received in the years of me doing makeup, this is the most expensive. So we're going to put it to the test. And we're gonna see how it is. I plan on doing like an all day wear. And of course you know me. Tomorrow I will be doing a get ready with me. Using most, or not most, but using some of the products that are by Anastasia Beverly Hills, including this balm. This, I'm gonna make a TikTok out of though. So I won't show y'all, I won't showcase to y'all what that's like. But I'm gonna see if I can put the video in the description box below so you can go over to TikTok and watch it. We're just gonna go from there and we're gonna catch you the next day. So this is the next day. Happy Good Friday for those of you who celebrate it. I am doing my makeup. I'm gonna be using products from, uh, not products, but I'm gonna be showcasing to you products by, by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I just got done trying out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Balm. Now I received this free from Influencer for review purposes only. I can say that I watched everybody's review. This one girl had shade 11 and she is a completely different skin tone than me. And it blended in, in her skin. And I was getting so nervous. I was like, oh my goodness. Don't tell me I picked up the wrong shade. Don't tell me. I was so scared. But I just did my film for tiktok and i can say that this does blend in with my shade this is share to light coverage i did the i did two layers so this is considered light coverage but for the future i'm going to do the share coverage this is perfect for um work so i know for a fact i will be doing this for work instead of all my foundation um that is in here okay but i'm gonna keep this out because i am making a film for influencer and I will put my referral link in the description box below. So if you want to join 
you are more than welcome to if you want to find out more information about this right here let me know and i'll answer your questions in the comments but i'm just going to go into the eye look i know eye looks are my thing on here and then obviously the lips I didn't get anything else from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I mainly focus on their eyeshadow palettes and on their, um, what do you call it? And on their lip products. I just purchased um, a lip product last year, but then that's been it. I haven't been doing much high-end brands as of lately. The goal is to save. And plus two, nowadays there are dupes. And I love a good dupe. I feel like the dupes, they have more of a richer ingredient versus um, the high-end brands. But I still I still love to receive them to test out for you guys. So y'all will see what that is like. There, there are a couple things that I purchased. And you already seen it in my previous vlog. One of them is for sure a high-end dupe. And you'll see that coming soon. You'll see about that. And then there is something else that Elf came out with that I want to try. So, 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 so bad. So when it's Easter time, I'm going on the Elf website and boop. So with Anastasia, I have a couple of the palettes here. I'm gonna show you. I had a minor renaissance, but that was toe up from the flow up. So I decided not to, I decided not to um, keep that anymore. And plus so I was planning on all colors, so I just threw it out. So I have first purchased the, oh no, I'm trying to think which one. Yeah, this is my first purchase. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. This, I would say, I purchased it in December 2017. So this is like six years since I've had this palette. And the, these are the, this is a color story um, for it. It's been a minute since I touched down in this palette. So I think I'm gonna go into this today. I also purchased the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. This September would be six years, but I've had it for five and a half years. And I just did a video on this. So I wanna make sure to link it in the cards. This is the color story. And as you can tell, I use the living shock out of this palette. Like I'm panning on five shades. Like this is how you want your palette to look. This is exactly how you want your palette to look. That shows that you are using all your palettes and you're not having them for show. I do have a dupe. I have a couple dupes actually that I could show you by Anastasia. Oh no. Okay, so one of them was the Modern Renaissance um dupe. It was Rosé in the Air by Wet n Wild. It looked like this, but I cannot find it. So I'm guessing I most likely threw it out there in my um my declutter video, which I'll also link that in the card so you can see how I organized there. But I'll show you one more dupe to Anastasia. It is this but it's by w7 i got this from amazon i've been eyeing the Reezy. that mess was expensive but i end up not getting it one and two it was sold out by the time i wanted to buy it this is a w7 show off palette and this is the Reezy dupe like i said earlier this is the color story i know i asked a lot of you what would you like for me to play with a lot of you Send me your suggestions with what colors you want me to delve into. So I will be making a separate video on this very soon. Okay. But for today, I'm going to be fiddling with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. It's been a minute since I've used this. And I need to touch up my concealer because it's starting to crease because I'm talking to y'all. And that is a-okay. There are a couple shades I want to delve into. So I think I first want to delve into Eden. It's like a peach shade, and then I might dump to Saturn. I don't know yet. I'm gonna try out Eden first, and then see how it looks. It's been a minute since I've tapped into this um, palette. And Eden still performs, like, that is so pretty. Shoot, I forgot I um panned on um, a shade in here. Lure, cause I love that mauve shade. I remember when I had my, um. Like, that's why I would wear to work, is that mauve shade. Because it was just so neutral, so perfect for everyday wear. And because this is not for, um, this one, this part's not for influencer. The part that's for influencer is on TikTok. But I'm using the e.l.f. Fluffy Eye Blender brush to really blend everything out, child. Like, look at that. And I think, you know what? I'm going to dip it to Saturn. 
and that's gonna be all over my um lids i want like a burnt orange shade i think i did this look years ago if i use the prism palette i'm going to put it in the cards above this was this is very old but everyone loved the look when i um wore it so i said okay let me make a video on it it was one of my first youtube videos also let me see this is by sonia kajuk it's like a fluffy eyeshadow brush this mess is perfect and i don't know why i don't know why i forgot about that anyway so satin will be going on my lids oh yeah so i just center it and then i'm just going to blend this out morph it into what i already blend out Oh, that looks beautiful in itself, bro. I am going shopping today, but it's nowhere where I can like deck out my eye, you know? No, this takes me back. Oh my gosh, this takes me back to when I used to wear this eyeshadow, you guys. There are a couple of products I want to um buy. Um, two of them is by L'Oreal. So L'Oreal has this True Match concealer, and the dough applicator does look like an iron. Like, it is so cute. So I definitely want to try that for myself to see what that's like. And then I also want to try out the, um, they also have like a skin tint as well, L'Oreal. I remember I found my first shade on there. I remember to this day, it's W7. So I want to know if that still is my true match or if I need to go to something else, cause me and foundation shades, we don't get along. We don't talk anymore. You all know what I do with my triangular puffs. Blend out the ends so it can be more seamless. Like, look at this. See the, see what I mean? Seamless. Like, you can't even tell like where the concealer start and stop on my face. This is how I've been using it. Just to go around my face because I want where my eyes are to be to be full coverage. So I'm going to um, set my face and I'm going to come back at you with the Lippy by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Or uh, one Lippy product by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just finished most of my makeup but then I was going in here and I was originally going to do this. Because this is another Anastasia Beverly Hills dupe with the ABH M Reezy collab with the highlighter. But then... I noticed that I have these um, here. I have this and I have this. So it looks like I have more than one in here. And I think I'm gonna go with the... So I'm gonna use this one. This is going to be Sunset Aura. So I'm gonna use that Sunset Aura and then put this um, back. So that means I need to use a different... Oh no, I'm gonna use this Real Techniques 031 highlighter brush because this mess just gets like right in there and it curves up. Let's see how much comes out though, cause sometimes it'd be way too much. Okay. I just put like a little bit in there. Like I'd be scared. Like this stuff is pigmented and they're known for strobing. Like way back when strobing was strobing, they're known for that. Okay, I think, I, I think I'm a little too shy with it. Yeah, I'm too shy with it. I need to like, I'm just gonna go um, right at her and just like work my way, but just take, take little dabs of it and then go from there. Just like you just want a little something, so you don't want you don't want too much. Now for the nose. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, 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 oh! Like if y'all see this in person, like you'd be like, "Dang, Tay, that is nice." But no, this is really this is really pretty. I'm gonna put this point a little, just add a little more. While y'all are here, I might as well just do my tear ducts. So, and going back into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prison Palette, I will be dubbing into Eternal. I'm going to be doing a really small, really small brush, which these bristles are coming. Oh, wait. Look at that. That mess is like, that mess is about to come out. So, I already know that this brush is going to um, have to go in the garbage soon. Let's see. Just want that burnt orange feel. Oh, this is so pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it just like this. Still 10 out of 10 for me. Still Tay Rose approved, but unfortunately, this is no longer available. I'm gonna see if I find any ABH Prism dupes. I don't think I'm gonna find any 
but you could just do any orange shade and then any bronzy metallic shade for your tear ducts and you'll be a okay you'll be good to go but i'm gonna apply lashes apply my blush and now i'm gonna come back at you with the lip product got my lashes i got these cat lashes um too i'm wearing those i want something simple but then i still want to add a little flair you know what i mean so now for my lips i don't have any anastasia Beverly hills lip pencils but i do plan on purchasing one today that's the gold fingers crossed it is in cool brown but i'm gonna go in with the i'm gonna go in with the up uh, the MAC Le Pencil and Cork. I have like so many lip liners that look like this. It's crazy. Yeah, so this is um, my lip liner. And then I'm gonna, I do have liquid lipsticks by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have this one, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Ashton. I wore this one day in the week. And then I also have the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Soft Lilac. I have that. I have a few um, lip products for Anastasia in here. I have the mini ones here too. Let me grab those so I can showcase it to y'all. So these are all in the pinks category. This is Stargazer. Definitely will not go, even though I already know what I'm going to wear anyway. Plumeria. Orchid. And Cotton Candy. Which, this is a dupe to the Max Candy Yum Yum. So, you choose what you want to get. I do have a lip gloss by Anastasia Beverly Hills that I know for a fact I am going to um, wear. So, hang on. Alright, finally got to it. So, this was a new release, I think in 2022. It was a new release, but I saw this lip gloss and I was like, ooh, this is so pretty. So this is their lip gloss and this is in peachy. But then they had another one too. I think it was like summer amber or something like that. I don't know. But I saw peachy and I was like, yes, Tay's going to get it. With any lip glosses, I do not rub them together. I make sure I keep it just like this because I want to keep... The same consistency that I have right now. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so this is my lip combo for the day. And I'm gonna go quickly spray under on my um, neck. Quickly, my scent of the day is the Lost in Paradise by Sofia Vergara. This smell smells so good. And when I got this, I had gotten this shimmer body lotion. Since then, I've been liking my body to be shimmery over the summer. It just smells so good. It's more like, I don't, again, I'm not a perfume kind of source. I don't know what notes it has in there, but it smells very good. So now I'm going to take down my hair. I'm going to take some pictures for Influencer. And then in the next few clips or so, you'll see me enjoying my day. So I just realized I forgot to show you my outfit. So this is the outfit that I picked out yesterday. This is the turnout. I forgot that this is how these pants look. They're not skinny jeans, but that's okay though. I like the back part. Like the back part is everything like, you feel me, you feel me. I forgot the shoes with these, but I am gonna steal with my bag, okay. Everything is just looking nice and right, but I just had to interject before I actually go eat. Just giving you a peek of my outfit. I, I'm wearing this. I'm gonna come in closer. So I'm wearing this trucker teddy by Shein, and I'm wearing my Adidas. Don't mind that stuff, and so that's not me with my bag. So as you can see. I'm at TJ Maxx. I'm gonna look for makeup and skincare things. All right, so I just found the viral bag here. 
this. This is the juicy bag that all the girls are raving about. $29.99. This is a lot cheaper compared to what I paid for mine. I also found this one too. This one's type cute. This one is for the price of $24.99. This one's cheaper. Alright, so I mean, there's like a lot of wallets here. So I think I'm gonna look for mini wallets because so I can have um, a set one. This one is very cute. It's for the price of $9.99. I like this. Let's see. I wish there were other colors in this. I want like a new. I don't want that. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. I have something like this. Mm -mm. Right, so I think I'm gonna do this one. It's plain, it's black, it goes with everything. So I have two wallets. This was for the price of if I can flip it. $16.99. I saw the juicy um wallet shape that's really pretty. But it's not a wallet, it's an actual coin purse. Alright, so I'm gonna try my luck again to see if I find any beauty creations and see if I find any peel-off masks. I'm here at TJ Maxx. Ooh. Tell me why I saw um C Pat McGrath for $14.99. Oh, they got these now. This is the all oil, oil absorbing patch set. This is pretty good. I wish they had like the peel off mask. I'm gonna still search. Alright guys, I think I found what I wanted. I'm gonna just get it. This ain't eyes hydrating. It's only $3.99. So I definitely purchased this. And I also found this too. Oh my gosh. So I have these, but I wear these for like outside um shoes. Um they have shoe the price on here. Oh, it's only $12.99. These are type cute, but these are small for $12.99. Alright guys, so I think I scored on something. This Beauty Creations Nude X Shadow Palette. Um, for $9.99 and I just checked it I mean it is um new no one has touched it or bothered it so I definitely will be purchasing this this is so cute it's like a pants set I'm getting this for sure this is a cute loungewear I like it all right, so I'm in Marshalls and I just scored these Puma Maze. This is for $49.99. This is in the, it's like, it's like a pink with like a, it's like a cheese bottom, like what I would say, but this is like, I don't know what kind of soles these are. Oh, all right, thank you. Peanut butter bottom, peanut butter bottoms for $49.99. See, I'm not a sneaker head, but I do like these shoes. I am purchasing them. I just came home not so long ago and I just went straight to eating. My sister made this delicious meal. It is like a, it's um the seasoned salmon with seasoned pasta and olive oil. It is so amazing. It has chopped onions in there. It was so good. I wish I had taken a <clears throat> screenshot or even um, Snapchat it, but I did not. But we're just gonna get into this haul. It's a very quick um haul. And I did really good on um, on my spending too. I did see these shoes, which you did, which y'all saw them. It is a Puma Maze platform shoes. These are for the price of $49.99. These ones I got in a size seven and a half. And I forgot, I mean, these are my second pair because the first pair is the Baby Fat Puma ones. I remember when I first got those ones, I was trying to seven, but it was so tight on my feet. So I said, okay, let me get a seven and a half. And it's a good thing I did because they feel they feel comfortable. It fits perfect. And these ones are the same too. It's like velvet. And you can't really see on camera, but it's like a pink. It's like a blush pink mauve. It's it's in them color categories. If you want to see any any videos of me pairing outfits with these shoes, let me know in the comments below. And then finally for this one from Marshalls, I got this Chimes Ginger Shoes. This is um in Meyer Lemon. So there's um this one is um lemon and um ginger because I think of honey and lemon growing up. This is for 
I mean, I've been feeling my throat. It's been I'm acting out of place, acting out of whack. So I'm like, mm, I need to tackle that before it gets any worse. I had these um, ones from, I mean, these, these ones for a few years, even though like th these ones have not expired yet, but these ones are newer. So yeah. So they have the original, they have mango, they have orange, they have peanut butter. And they have peppermint. Maybe the original would be really good, but I don't like the strong smell. I don't like the strong taste of ginger unless it's in ginger tea. That's what I had this morning. Now for the TJ Maxx bag. I first got this Azura 24 Karat Golden um, Caviar Face Mask. It nourishes, illuminates, and smooths the face for $4.99. I also purchased this wallet. It's by Guess. Only for $16.99. Because I've been currently bringing my, bringing my um, work wallet in and out between um, purses. And sometimes I forget them for going to work and that's not good so i'm gonna have one wallet for going out and then another wallet for work i also bought this beauty creations nude x shadow palette i'm just gonna take it out of here because someone didn't even pack it right but i got this so now that i have this i'm gonna have to buy the lipstick so i'm gonna go on their website at this point this is the color story it's all um neutrals. I also repurchased this St. Ives Radiant Radiant Skin Scrub for $3.99. I was so happy when I saw this next product and y'all saw how I was when I was showing y'all. But I got the St. Ives Hydrating Daily Facial Cleanser, the watermelon one. This gently cleanses away dirt and oil for refreshed glowing skin. This is for $3.99. I'm so happy that I got this again. I'm so because I was talking about I was like, dang, I wish I got it. I'm happy I got it. So now I have two other ones. One's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. One is done. Then I have another one to go to. And they had a lot of other facial cleansers too, but I want to stick with what I'm used to. I'm used to St. Ives growing up. I want to stick with that. I'm used to Neutrogena. I want to stick to that. And then um, finally, I got this Juicy Couture set. So it is. this is the... um tank top and then these are oh girl let's not do that and these are the pants it says juicy off the side they call it the lettuce cut so it's less cut on the bottom less cut on the bottom of the top and on the bottom of the pants this was for the price of $16.99 so I won't try these on as well you know what I might as well just um try it on. All right, so I actually am trying on the set, and this is mad cute. Like, don't mind the other stuff, but this is where the pants hit, and um, this is the shirt. It's so cute. It says Juicy right here, and this is the first that Juicy don't have anything on the booty. So for those of you who don't like anything on the butt, they have it on your chest area, so you're gonna get attention somewhere if you wear it out, and then. You have the juicy hair. I know for myself, I'm wearing it in the house. Like, this is gonna be my next lounge set. Yeah, I mean, this is this is it. And I got this in a size medium, too. The one thing, though, is that I think I put a hole in my pants. Yeah, I put, like, a tiny little hole right there. Because I didn't cut this tag. How they did this tag was so dumb to me. But I think they're not... They're trying not to let people try it on. Because they're afraid of people is gonna steal it. But... It's still cute. I love it. I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the night. I'm gonna actually taste the Wendy's Dreamsicle cause the Dreamsicle Frosty cause it looks so good. I feel like it's gonna taste like orange creamsicle, like the ice creams. So yeah.